Well, the trading app Robinhood says last Wednesday, a hacker was able to gain access to its systems by impersonating an authorized party to a customer's employee, support employee on the phone. So what does that mean for users? Well, Attorney General William Tong joins us now to shed some light. Uh, Attorney General, thank you for joining us. My first question, I guess, is just what Robinhood uh, users need to know about this breach. Hey, Brent, thanks for having me. What they need to know is more than 5 million people are affected. More than 2 million people um, have had their email addresses and names hacked if they were uh, customers of Robinhood. So just be careful for um, spam, for phishing emails, for inbound emails from Robinhood. If you're a customer, I would suspect that it could be a phishing email, something designed to get you to give information that you don't want to give. So if you you get an inbound email and you suspect it's from Robin Hood or you're not sure, make your own phone call directly to Robin Hood, send them an email, you initiate your own contact if you're unsure. Now, we've been learning that it's not necessarily bank account numbers or financial or social security numbers, but you know, there is information that's out there, their names, their email addresses, you had said the same thing, that phishing scam. So what should people really be concerned about when it comes to the information that was leaked here? Yes, Amanda. So far, we know that it's mostly emails and uh, names and not a lot of really sensitive information, although for a few people, there was some sensitive information. If you're a Robinhood customer, just call them. Make sure that you're not affected. If you are affected, see what resources they have uh, to protect you. If you're unsatisfied with a response, call my office. We have uh, the very first ever privacy and data privacy department in any attorney general's office anywhere in the country. George Jepson created that a few years ago. So we're always in the lead in these cases. We're always in the front lines and we have a lot of experience and we're happy to help. All right. That's good to hear. Uh, I just wanted to ask one more question. Th these things are coming fast and furious now. What can be done uh, to protect against future hacks? Just be careful who you do business with. If you can avoid doing business online, I know it's hard. We all do it. But remember that when you're online, you're giving out information. You probably don't even think about it. And it's not just true about trading platforms or banks, but your local hospital, your doctor, healthcare provider, you know, where you shop. We do so much online. So just be careful. Don't give out any more information than you have to. All right, Attorney General William Tong, thanks for that valuable information. Yeah, with so many things going electronic these days, yeah. everybody can fall victim. Yep. Thank you. There is still a lot more to come on the news at five. And here's what's coming.